Gnostic Christianity, which is one of the major alternative Christian movements of the second century, and that claims to have a rootage in the first century, actually has problems, major historical problems, in being able to get all the way back to that first generation. And it fundamentally is this. In Gnostic Christianity, there is a story of the creation, and the story of the creation goes like this. The God of Israel did not create the creation, but underling gods did. In fact, in some cases, it's a female deity. She botched the job to begin with, and the creation was corrupt from the very beginning. That could never be a view that would go all the way back to the disciples who walked with Jesus. One of the things Jesus scholars are in agreement about, about this first generation of Christians, is that the Hebrew Scripture was their Bible, and that certainly included the Pentateuch, and that they were very, very faithful practicing Jewish people which means that they believed that God was the creator and that that creation was good at the beginning. So any creation story that doesn't fit that model could not have gone back to the earliest generation of Christians and Gnostic Christianity that reflects that kind of teaching cannot reflect the earliest period of the Christian movement. So that's another case of a major disconnect between one of the alternative schools and the earliest generations of Christianity. So what I'm saying is this that this alternative model has problems. It has problems at a variety of levels because it imposes too great a disjunction between Jewish Christianity and Hellenistic Christianity on the other, and it ignores the great disjunction between Gnostic Christianity and the story of creation on the other hand.